Good, but we've got Aaron from Farm Fresh Meats here, and we are talking about the best prime rib ever. Also, I want to let you know, we usually ask our chefs to come an hour or so before the show to prep. This girl came in at 7 a.m. to get everything ready for you. I'm so excited. Yes, ma'am. Merry Meat Miss, everybody. Look at this uh, meat spread I have for you today. So we are talking about Christmas time and what the main course is for Christmas. A lot of people like to stick with traditional ham and turkey. As for my family, we go for the beef. Oh, we go yeah. for the prime rib. So I brought all different varieties of ribeye to show people today what we have to offer for the holidays. Right, and I want to talk about a couple of these varieties you were telling me earlier. It's incredible how much you do have to offer for all of us here. It really is, and not too many people are schooled on what different cuts of beef are, what different grades of beef are. So that's what I'm here for um, mm -hmm. to explain. So what we have is all different varieties of rib roast in front of us which is where the ribeye steak comes from. It's also what you cook the prime rib out of. I'm going to start over here on the big my guy. right. So this is what's called a tomahawk rib roast, meaning because of the large bone, looks like a tomahawk. This is actually a Colorado ways raised Wagyu ribeye. Wagyu means Japanese cow. So it's actually a very pampered cow that has a very strict diet, it drinks beer, believe it or not. It hmm. gets massages. It's a grain-fed diet, which all attributes to really nice marbling inside of it, which makes it extremely tender. Sounds like my kind of cow. Yes, I would love to have that cow's life if I had to be a cow. <laughs> uh, next to that right here is what we call a dry-aged prime rib. So this is actually a prime rib roast that we have put in a temperature and humidity controlled room. And over about a 28 day period, a lot of the moisture is pulled out of the roast, which just makes a really nutty, beefy flavor. Mm. Really, really good. And all of this exterior that you see here, that of course gets trimmed off and dried right. away. Next to that is what we call choice grade ribeye. So the USDA, the United States Department of Agriculture, has three different grades when it comes to beef. The top of the line is prime, next under that is choice, and the bottom is select. It's all because of the intermuscular marbling that is inside of the beef. So choice is going to have a good amount of marbling, but not as much as prime as you see over here. Right. And the marbling really attributes to, like I said before, the tenderness. I'm so I feel like I've just learned so much in the matter of a couple one, of minutes there. One last thing is this one right here has the bone in it. So what I'm cooking for y'all today is a bone in rib roast. Now what's the difference taste wise with that? Well the bone actually helps protect the meat. It also adds some more flavor. So what we do at Farm Fresh is we do this thing called BRT bone rolled and tied. So we take the bone most of the way off and then we tie it back on for the cooking process. And then that way, whenever you get ready to carve it, the bone just falls right off and you can carve it really easily. Maybe make your dogs happy. That sounds fantastic. So we're talking about prime today. That's what we're making, the prime rib. We've got a couple of things that you kind of did to season it first. Yes, so what I did is Number one, extremely important, is you have to let your roast come to room temperature. That is going to ensure that you have a really even cook throughout your roast. If you have a cold piece of meat that goes onto a hot surface or into a hot oven, it's gonna tend to seize up and it's not gonna cook as evenly as you want it to. So that's the number one key. Um, I made a garlic herb butter. Smells so good. That I spread all over the roast, which is in the oven right now, which you guys will see in the next segment. Um, and that roast is sitting on top of an onion, some whole garlic cloves, some rosemary, and some thyme, and all the juices and the butter and everything are just gonna make an excellent red wine and beef broth sauce that we're gonna make later on in the show. So excited when we come back. Joe's gonna be working on that with Aaron. We're also gonna be talking about where you can go ahead and order that meat that you want for Christmas. It always It is fun cooking it, but sometimes it is a lot of work, so why not let the professionals do it for you? You got that. Joe, so excited about this prime rib. And you'll be excited when I give you a If you hear a strange rumbling sound, it's it's not the cooking, it's my stomach. Getting hungry <laughs> for what's going on in here. This is Aaron with Farm Fresh Meats. This looks amazing. Yes, this is really what does. I call the best ever prime rib. I love this recipe, mm -hmm. and I think that it just is something that is really universal for people as well. All these flavors 
everybody Yo, loves. Take a look at that. So tell us what we've done so far. Okay, so the first thing that we did is we went to Farm Fresh Meats and we got them to bone roll and tie us a five pound standing rib roast. Okay. All right, so then I let the meat come to room temperature and I patted it dry. I set it on top, on top of a bed of garlic and onion, rosemary and thyme. And then I just slathered it with a lot of that garlic herb butter. And I threw it in a 450 degree oven for about 20 minutes so we could get a nice crust on the outside. And that garlic herb butter, if you didn't see it earlier, that was on thick to yes, start with. So is. you are letting all that flavor seep in there. Absolutely. That's another really important thing when it comes to prime rib is whatever seasoning you choose, you want to heavily season it on the outside because you're just going to have a little bit of crust. Right. And um, the crust is the best. Oh, the crust is always the best part. Yeah. But where we are now is um, once you do the roasting for 20 minutes, then you're going to turn the oven down to about 250 degrees and you're going to let the rib roast go. Again, this is a five pounder for about an mm -hmm. hour and a half to two hours. Every 30 minutes, we're going to pull it out and we're going to baste it in its own juices and this delicious butter, garlic herb stuff that we have going oh, on just man. so it stays nice and moist. Joe, we're looking for an internal temperature here of about 118 degrees before we pull it out. Then we're going to let it rest for about 20 or 30 minutes before carving it so all of those juices can redistribute and the internal temperature will actually rise by about five to seven degrees while it's sitting here while resting. it's resting yes so any tips on taking the temperature of this cut of meat yes you okay. have got to have a, a meat thermometer you got a good have a meat, meat thermometer, thermometer. Right. one that you know that hadn't been sitting in your drawer for 10 years and it's going to give you an accurate temperature and you're trying to get all the way to the middle all the way to the middle that is right. correct yes I'm, t I'm, t I'm if you can tell I'm taking notes here because I really want to do this this looks absolutely incredible it's super easy and another great thing that we do at Farm Fresh is when you do order a prime rib, mm -hmm. we send you home with all different kinds of tips and cooking instructions so you actually, it's hard to mess it up. It really, really is. Well, that's one of the things about shopping at a place like Farm Fresh Meats is you get that local experience, you get that expertise, you get that professionalism, all the things they need to know. They're going to come away with that in addition to an amazing cut of meat. Exactly. Something I forgot to mention earlier that is also extremely important is if anybody viewing today wants to order a dry aged rib roast or a tomahawk wagyu rib roast it is really important that you call and place an order for that we do have quite a bit in stock we already have a lot of rib roast dry aging but we want to make sure that we don't upset you day of and you don't get something that you were really hoping to get so placing an order is always really really important Along with this, we'll also be doing the smoked turkeys and hams again, like we did mm -hmm. for Thanksgiving. We'll have different various sides, uh, all kinds of stuff. So tell me in the audience a little bit about deadlines for those types of things. When do the orders need to be in for the various products that you have? Well, always the sooner the better, in yeah. my personal opinion. Um, but definitely by no later than middle of next week, if you're wanting something dry aged, we it's a very time sensitive manner. Mm -hmm. Plus there's just a limited amount of this Colorado Wagyu beef that mm -hmm. I can get. Um, so if you can give me, you know, a, a week from now is max, I would All say. Right. All right, so we've got a lot of stuff to do after the show today, Aaron. Mm. We've got plenty of people coming in. We've got a band. We've got Green and Phillips. We've got a third segment that's coming in all to tape. I think I'm going to cancel them all so I can just sit there and just eat the meat just at my desk. Oh, just keep on make, eating that meat. That made my heart so happy. <laughs> we have some good sauces to go with. Yes, that. let's do that. What do you think, Michael and Chelsea? Cancel the day so we can have a meat fest. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about maybe the best Christmas gift ever, and that's the best ever prime rib. You got that right, girl. We are ready to go. Um, this thing is resting. It needs as much time as possible to rest to let all of those juices kind of redistribute throughout the roast. So while it's resting for a minute longer, mm -hmm. um, this is what we were going to make our red wine and beef stock jus out of. And it is beautiful. It really is. So tell me a little bit about what this adds to the to the meat but also um, why we aren't using it. Well unfortunately my pan does not work on this stove top right. but you don't want to miss out on all of the beautiful juices and drippings and meat yumminess that's in the bottom of that pan that the prime rib has been cooking in so we added um, some some red wine I have a Pinot Noir here and some unsalted beef broth mm. to that and we're just gonna cook that down kind of let it reduce add a cornstarch slurry strain it and then you have a jus to go with your prime rib I also made this really quick and super simple 
uh, horseradish cream sauce. All this is is equal parts of sour cream, mayonnaise, some horseradish, and some Worcestershire. Pretty easy. Pairs really well with beef. Right. Um, but now we're at the point where we want to unveil this and do some carving here. Yes, and it's been smelling so good, y'all. The top layer of this thing is incredible. It looks like it's got the perfect crunch, but we're going to take off Whoop. those strings that tie it together. Yeah, these are the strings that hold the bone on, so we're going to remove these so that the bone does fall off. And if you can um, check out my nifty little board here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. These are called woody boards. We sell these at Farm Fresh. They make a great holiday gift. Oh. And you can personalize them as well. So keep that in mind while you're cutting. I do want to talk about Farm Fresh and the holidays. Like I said earlier, it's great if you want to make your own prime rib, whatever meat that you like, but it's also incredible to have the option that the professionals can do it for you, right? Absolutely, yes. Now, we won't cook your right. prime rib for you, but we do do smoked hams, smoked turkeys, all different various sides, and we will give you the proper cooking instructions to cook your prime rib, but it turns out best when you do it day right. of, so of course. So keep that in mind, but this recipe is probably going to be one of my favorites just by the aroma of it. Right, and I mean, it is just gonna be so mouthwatering and oh. so juicy. And look at that, My Chelsea. Goodness. I mean, that is the perfect medium rare. That is exactly what you want to see when you cook prime rib. You want it to be nice and pink, all the, all the way cooked through, of course. And then this board is just so neat. So on the other side is an actual block where you can do your everyday carving. You flip it over, and then there's this awesome little carving ring that stabilizes whatever protein it is that you're carving. So keep that in mind. That's that yeah. could be a really great Christmas gift. A great Christmas gift, and we have a ton of them, and we can order them for you. All also, Farm Fresh gift certificates make a great gift too. Yes, so keep that in mind. I love Farm Fresh Meats. I know you at home Look do too. Pretty. Finally, what is the phone number, the address so they can come see you guys? Sure, yes, yeah, so we're located in Robertsdale, right on Highway 59 South. Our phone number is 251-947-7385. Um, you can give us a call Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturday, 8 to 3. You can find us online at farmfreshmeatsal.com, Facebook, we're on all the social media outlets, but definitely come by and see us because we have so much fun stuff happening this time of year. And just to mention too, this bone would make a doggy or two really, really happy. I know two at my home who would tear that up <laughs> Mine in a couple too. of seconds. So remember, pre-order, pre-order, pre-order. Yes. Go ahead and give them a call with any questions. Go ahead go and pre-order your meats that you're wanting for Christmas or for any weekday. If you want to go fancy, you can you do got that, that too. Right. So make sure that you go check them out online. We'll be right back with more Studio 10 after this. I already see Joe making his way over here. Mm. Ha, ha, ha.